Buried beneath a layer of neglect and decay, this abandoned house has a horrifying tale that no family should ever have to tell. Built in 1906, this was home for several families over the decades, the last of which had a very tragic end within its walls. The father, a truck driver who was gone for extended periods of time, left the mother at home with their young child. While on the road in May of 1998, the father was informed of some absolutely bone-chilling news. News that was about to mentally break the father. For inexplicable reasons, his wife had put their daughter to sleep permanently through the use of a pillow, before eventually taking a mixture of chemicals herself. Shortly after this tragedy, the house was left vacated and it has now sat decaying for nearly 25 years. Starting point is the second floor. And as you can see, I have my good old trusty dusty sweat exploring sweater on. I've been wearing this thing exploring for damn near a decade. It's old reliable. But I'm bringing that up because it's nice and cool outside. We're getting autumn temperatures. But it is muggy and hot in here. I've walked through one room and I'm already sweating. <sighs> Should make it an interesting one. This one looks pretty freaking creepy. The backstory on it alone is creepy enough. But we're gonna go check it out. It should be pretty cool. Somebody liked their drinks. I mean, they have it as wallpaper. Or I guess as a border. As you can see, a lot of damage. This is a bedroom. Very nicely shaped. All that's left of the door. Door split in half. It's like corkboard. Vent. And a closet that has seen a lot of animals. Empty storage space. That's all just empty storage space in there. And what's left of the sink? So I'm gonna assume one of these doors is the bathroom. This door is blocked off. Let's see if we can get through there. Right, yeah, this is the bathroom. It's a lovely smell. Again, animals have had their way in here. I guess if we can't get through the door, we will go on through right there. It's a very small second floor. Yeah, this is wrapped right around that. What is in this room? I'm gonna have to take my backpack off to get through here. So far, I'm not seeing any reason on why it would be so blocked off. Okay, some writing in here. Maybe some people were crashing. I don't know. It's a pretty gross spot to be grass crashing. Why is my face the only none to face? Uh, wow, what the F? Makes tons of sense. Is this outside? Yes, it is. I don't want to be shining the light out there too much. Yeah, look at this. They've put the curtain rods right through the wall and wrapped it around the frame. Okay, Max alone kit. It's safe to say somebody was crashing here. There's more writing. 
I walk a straight line, yet it's still bent over. Okay, sure. He's walking a straight line, but bent over. Oh, some lube. I don't know. Some lube. Naxalone. Creepy old rotting house. Yeah, I don't know. I'll leave that up to all your imaginations. Okay, access to the cubby there. Remains of the kitchen. Appliances are knocked over. Got a doorway from here. Yeah, we'll go around that way. Hearing people outside. Hopefully just people walking by. The pain will not go away. Oh, what a, wait, what a minute? Yeah, it's what a minute. You also will not go. Yeah, yeah, that's what you are. All right. Not really understanding these messages in here too well. The old front door. The light's still intact. I don't think there's a whole lot to venture in to the kitchen for. I walked right by this. Old sofa bed, and there's a pile of burnt wood. But I have seen no fire damage in here yet. That makes no sense. There we go. I haven't seen one of these in many years. One of the old pull-out sofas. That's the first bit of graffiti. I guess with spray paint. There's been that writing with the marker, but no spray paint other than that so far. Another half bathroom. Literally just a toilet. There's not even a sink. Weird. More alcohol ads for magazines. No idea how old these would be. Yeah, no dates on any of them.
I'm looking underneath. Look at that old wallpaper. Neat. That is so old. Hit it underneath this wood paneling. Is this another kitchen? Nice small cowboy boots. Is there much more back this way? Um, I guess the living room and then this back room. More burnt up wood. And there's no fire damage in here. No, it's like they brought it from somewhere. Yeah, yeah that's confusing. Are they just storing burnt wood in here? This isn't another bathroom. Yeah, but there's a hole in the floor. Yes. Oh, this looks like an old receipt. Tons of old tax papers. 91. They had a lot of stuff in the 90s. I'm not going to show names. Now, the newest thing I've seen was this birthday card here, actually, which is May 99. Okay. Not much left of that bathroom. It's quite the uh, paint on the walls. Yeah. You said there's like another living room area here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Broken glass. Is that an old TV? It is. A little bit more graffiti in this room. Another couch. Okay. This TV's been ripped apart. This one has not, but it's sitting upside down. Check out the mug. Okay, this looks like another receipt. 91. Yeah, rental on a truck. There's a date, December 21st, 91. A little bit more furniture in this one. Strange. And I think to get to the basement, we're going to be doing some climbing. This is what we're climbing over to get into the basement. What? Okay, okay I'm coming. The sounds of it, there's something freaking cool. <sighs> Trying to squeeze through here. Let me get over this way. Oh, 
This basement's a mess. Always up in there. Oh, poor little guy's probably crapping his hands. Oh, my hands are a mess. Should have had gloves on. It's just sut. Yeah. I think this uh, skate has seen better days. He's an okay little guy. We're not gonna bug you. Not too much. Yeah, anywhere near here. Yeah, we'll leave him be. Look at this basement. You can tell it floods. Yep. Old high chair. The remains of a key, I think. I think. I don't know what that is. The engine part of a chainsaw, yep. Very, very rusted. Got some arrows. Just a crawl space. I was laying down in the remains of all of this. So eerie seeing that. Crazy. So, what else did you find in there? Going to bring back childhood. Well, maybe not so much childhood. Maybe, but... Hopefully, we're not irritating possum friend too much. Oh, Zeddy from Zellers. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Oh, how old is that? I've never seen one like that. 80s. I had one. The no late way. 80s, early 90s, yeah. That is freaking neat. I think we're going to end this one off down here. What a very interesting, creepy, unsettling explore. Seeing those kids things, the high chair, the shoe. Yeah, pretty interesting. Let me know what you all think. If you saw anything that I missed, please let me know in the comments. And as always, I'll see you on the next adventure.